Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a weight loss update with my Weight Watchers. And it's been about two weeks since I started my weight loss journey. Technically tomorrow marks two weeks because it's Sunday today. But I figured I'd do a quick little update for you guys now. So let's get on to the video. Alright, so first off, as you guys know, my starting weight was 215.4 or 215.2. I don't really remember. I don't know why I can't remember this number. I will make sure to have it all listed down below. But the point is, um, after week one, I noticed that there really wasn't a change, which is so weird because I totally stayed on my points except for one day, which I went over. And I was like, what the heck? And I did work out three days during the first week. And there was like less than 0.5 difference. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, eh, I'm not going to do a weekly update. I'm just going to wait till week two and see if I have a bigger update for you guys. It is now the end of week two and I have lost a little bit of weight. Honestly, I thought I would lose more um, during this process. I feel like the first time I ever started Weight Watchers, like a few years ago, I lost like five pounds during the first week. So I was a little shocked by how little I did lose, but I am determined to stick with it because you know with this journey it's you know just eating better so two pounds or less per week is normal and healthy so i started at 215.4 and my current weight is 214.6 so i lost 0.8 pound of a pound <laughs> so i lost less than one pound in two weeks so it is as you can see a little frustrating because i have been sticking with the plan for two whole weeks and have like barely any difference however I did work out three days during the first week and during the second week I only think I worked out like two days um, because the second day I ended up working my lower body way too hard, pushed myself way too hard and I was so sore I could barely walk. It was so bad and I should have gone back to the gym and worked out my other parts of my body that weren't like messed up or like super sore like my arms I could have done those but I was so much, I was in so much pain that I just chose not to go to the gym which was really stupid. So I wish I had gone to the gym more often because my plan was to go at least five days a week but i went three days the first time and then two days the second week as far as like feeling different honestly i feel very light i feel very less, less stuffed and less heavy um at work especially i don't feel like super weighed down after lunch time i have decent meals so i feel really good and i don't feel like super tired at the end of the day where i feel like oh my god like i can't believe i'm going to bed with this huge like full stomach full of fat food and desserts and stuff like that so I feel great. There were actually two days during this two week process that I was under my points, which was great. I think the first one I was under like five points, and the other one I was under like eight points or something like that. I can't really remember, but it was something like that. And I was like, yes, like that feels great to be under. I felt, I felt completely fulfilled throughout my day. Like I was totally full, perfectly full, not hungry or anything. And I had all these extra points. I must've had really good like intake of fiber and protein and things that helped fill me up. Plus I've been trying to drink a lot of water. I definitely could still up the intake of my water. But since before I have been drinking a lot of water to the point where I'm like peeing constantly from drinking so much water. And Pedro's now asking me like, why are you peeing so much? So if I'm peeing a lot, I know that I'm drinking a lot of water. So that's good. Besides that for measurements, I have not changed anything yet everything's still the same um again i've only lost like, less than one pound so there's not going to be change there so my measurements are still the same i'll make sure to keep them listed down below for you guys to stay updated on that and i decided that i'm not going to be doing weekly updates because of this small change in only two weeks that i'm probably just going to stick with two week updates i don't think i would ever need to like prolong that to three weeks or four week updates because you know Things are going to be changing at least every two weeks so there's got to be some kind of difference so every two weeks expect an update for you guys and yeah i'm so sorry that i told you guys weekly but it's gonna be two weeks however i have been thinking about it and i realized that it's not always about the number because of the fact that if you are working out you are gaining muscle muscle weighs more than fat so if you gain a whole bunch of muscle and like you're losing fat it can like be a weird number it cannot be the proper number it can really you be losing weight and like your body could be shrinking but your weight could still be the same because you're getting muscle you know what i mean or there could be a small change kind of like what's happening with me so that could have been the reason of me working out those five days that i gained a little bit of muscle and then lost fat and that's why the scale number didn't really change that much i'm not sure that's why i'm mostly relying on the measurements and also how i feel and also what i look like when i look in the mirror at myself um, I think I mentioned this in my last video, maybe not, but some of the things that I look for when I am losing weight is my collarbone starting to show more because that's my first usual sign of me starting to lose weight is my collarbone starting to stick out a little bit. Also, my jawline will get a little smaller, especially when I smile. 
this whole little cheeky thingy here will start to like shrink my double chin i'll like feel it every day and every day since starting this weight loss journey it has felt a little less bumpy down here so i have a little bit less of a double chin um i think so something's changing you know things are changing maybe not the number of the scale but my body is changing and i'm feeling great and i'm feeling better i'm not going to show you guys a before and after because again i don't have any like different measurements going on as far as my body goes because i only lost 0.8 pounds um literally nothing is different i've looked in the mirror and nothing's different i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep my weight and measurement updates every two weeks but as far as the before and after pictures i'm gonna post that every month so every four weeks i have not tried out my recipe book just yet um i've looked up a ton of different recipes on the website i've also looked up a whole bunch of recipes online from people own recipes when they want to remake something and what they use and what how many points it is and stuff like that i've also recreated my own recipes and kind of made it on the app which is really cool because let's just say i have like a really good recipe for lasagna or something i can input all the ingredients that i use for the whole meal put how many servings it is and then when i end up tracking that particular meal i'll just put one serving and it like cuts it so it puts the points for just that serving which is so cool because i feel like they didn't have that before and now they do which is really cool my goal for these next two weeks is going to be trying to go to the gym. If I am super sore in one area of my body, I'm not going to not go just because of that. I'm going to try my best to go and work out the other parts of my body. So hopefully I'll be able to get into the gym more, you know, up my intake on water and continue on this journey of sticking with my 34 points. Yeah, I don't know if I ever told you that my point intake is 34. Of course, we have like our weekly allowance. I try not to dig into that, but sometimes you got to do it and it's okay because it's there for you just in case you need it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by onto this week two update of my weight loss journey with Weight Watchers. I hope you guys enjoyed and stick around for the fourth week, which I'll hopefully have a better weight loss for you guys. I'll have a better measurement for you guys. If not, I'll at least I'll have I know I'm gonna have something to tell you guys about how I feel, if my collarbones are showing more, if I've been, you know, doing more workouts and drinking more water, things like that. I'm sure there'll be something interesting for you guys to hear from me. But I'll let you guys go. Have a great day, have a great next two weeks, and stick around for more videos on my main channel. I do plan on posting there again this week. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next weight loss update. Anyways, that is it for this weight loss update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any tips or tricks on Weight Watchers and weight loss and working out and planning for weight loss and planning for workouts and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. And it's down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell, let you guys know when I post my next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Okay.